So it's Thursday and it's a very exciting time for me today. I have my very first vinegar cinder package. Uh, if you guys watch my channel on a regular basis, you've seen my son Matt on here. He's actually moving away to Ontario to go to film school. So I'm going to miss him, but I'm actually a very, very proud dad. Uh, the vinegar syndrome titles were titles I wanted for uh, Father's Day. Unfortunately, he's leaving today uh, just before Father's Day to uh, go up and get things straightened away. So uh, very excited for him. He's got a whole new exciting adventure. And right now we're going to look into these movies here because uh, there's some really cool things. we got some really cool vinegar syndrome stuff to show you guys. It's all almost all Blu-ray. There's some limited editions. And let's check it out. Hey there, so I have my vinegar cinder box. I'm actually very excited about this. I uh, just literally got in the house and normally I'll wait a little bit before I do the video, get something to eat or I'll, uh, but <clears throat> I just fed the cats. I'm gonna do this right away. As you can see, that's my last video up there talking about uh, a, a haul that I did with uh, a Scream Factory Blu-ray. If you haven't checked out it, that's a beautiful and actually really seemingly nice Angie Everhart on the, uh, at the beginning of that video. I'm doing like a bunch of stuff. Now, <clears throat> before I go into the vinegar cinema stuff, I'm glad that my better half reminded me. A friend of mine from work is actually getting rid of some of his uh, his DVDs. <clears throat> so, he came up to me today, asked me if there's anything that I that I wanted, and he had a couple there, so he gave me, and I gotta show this right now, because I'm, I collect Anchor Bay, and I do like, a, I'm a video game guy too, and a horror guy, so this came in for me was Dead Space Downfall with the uh, slipcover, the Anchor Bay edition. And of course, I think so. And Dead Space Aftermath. So very cool. I would I actually haven't seen those, so it'd be kind of cool to check those out. I heard that they're pretty good and they're pretty gory as well, because after all, it's Dead Space. <clears throat> and I want to thank him, Jason, by the way, his name, <clears throat> for uh, hooking me up with those two fantastic little films. So it looks like the package is decently. So we'll find out now. These here have some, yeah, they're practically good. <clears throat> it has the uh, the receipt here, so I'm going to just check this to make sure all my movies came through. Yep, looks like it did. So there are seven films there. <clears throat> I'm going to take them all out, <clears throat> and then I'm going to show you guys one at a time. There is six Blu-rays, one that's a limited edition, and one DVD that is a limited edition. <clears throat> So I will have to look very carefully on some of these because some of these have like uh, stuff in them. So first off, I'll show you the DVD. And the movie is called <clears throat> Cutthroats. Sorry about that. He's actually got an X rating. And uh, no, it's not an adult film really, but it's uh, one of those kind of like, uh, okay, uh, kind of vicious or like Nazi film. Uh, <laughs> you have to see it to understand. But anyway, The Cutthroats. Not for everybody. I really want to have this one. This is a very, very limited edition. I think they made like 1,500 of these. So if this is something you're interested in, then uh, definitely pick it up. So we'll... that is the first one right there, Cutthroats. So just to, because this is my first uh, Vinegar Syndrome uh, DVD. The only other Vinegar Syndrome I have in my collection is uh, one that I really, really enjoy. And that is Night Train to Tear. It's a cheesy, bad film that has a lot of deep meaning for me because I, I really dug it back in the day. So we'll open this up. <clears throat> oh, there's a thing on top of it. Did not know that. And I had to go, in order to get Night Train to Terror, by the way, I didn't go order it or anything like that. I was up in Ottawa <clears throat> and it was literally the store, which I didn't know at the time, but the store was closing down. If I'd known then, I probably would have bought more from them. Uh, Night Train to Terror was there. It was the first thing I picked up. So he knows that. So we see it's got the uh, picture on there for the for the DVD art, and I am really excited to have this. <clears throat> Let's see. Here we go. Directed by John Hayes, who did Grave of the Vampire, uh, which is a really which is a movie that I really like actually. It's a favorite of my dad's too. So 
cutthroats from vinegar syndrome. <clears throat> Next up, <clears throat> I got one that had been recommended to me actually. I've seen on a lot of sites where it got actually a really good uh, rating, and I don't remember this one. <clears throat> so it's going to be interesting to see it, and it is Massage Parlor Murders. I've heard a lot of good things about this movie, that it is actually deceptively good. Let's see how that turns out once I get to watch some of this stuff. And where did my knife go again? Okay. I love the uh, kind of the artwork and the way these things are packaged. I gotta say, Vinegar Syndrome does a great job with that. Now, the Cutthroats itself is just uh, pretty basic with just, you know, having original tactical trailer uh, and, and stills gallery. It is a scanned and restored 2K restoration of this film. That's very hard to find. <clears throat> that alone is like, you know, worth grabbing it. Vinegar Syndrome is known for doing really good restorations of their films. And these are films that basically are lost, that uh, a lot of people would have, you know, given up on. But they take the they take it and they actually go ahead and make like really great uh, restorations of the film. So we'll just open this one up here. And this one. Actually, wow. So this one includes Massage Part of Murders, includes a booklet. There's actually this section removed from... You know, okay, so it's kind of like a cool little card there. i got to look more into that. <clears throat> So the booklet here has got notes on scanning restoration. Like they did like a 2K, preserved in 2K or 4K. You know, and this actually is a really in-depth booklet. I like that. <clears throat> you can see that as a both Blu-ray and DVD. So I am extremely stoked about seeing this one. Uh, yeah. Well, what is this exactly? Uh, I'm going to have to check that out. So, next up is one that I actually got a kick out of. It's one of those that got like, I remember back in the day, and it has a, an awesome cover. <laughs> uh, the film itself is very cheesy. I, I dug it. Here's the thing. You got to know this about my about me, about my channel, but thing. I like a lot of like cheesy B, C, D grade movies. Uh, you know, I like the classics. You know, I like my Citizen Kane. I like my like the other stuff as well. But I do really enjoy these type of films. It's an editing sheet. Oh, is it an editing sheet? Yeah. That's kind of so what, which scenes are cut and see it says. Oh, cool. So it tells you the section, whatever section was removed. From the, so basically, this is where it's an uncut one. It's basically giving me the editing sheet, which is really cool. It's kind of a nice little touch. This one here is a beautiful cover, by the way. It's called Nightmare Weekend, and uh, made in for made by French crew in Florida. Uh, Henry Cell Sala. We got some extras on here as well. Thank God it's Monday. Surviving Night Nightmare Weekend with Dean Gates. Killer Weekend interview with Mark Gottlieb. We got alternate R-rated edits. We got an original theatrical trailer and uh, English subtitles. So well, yeah, gotta get the subtitles. <clears throat> but uh, pretty cool. So we also have Nightmare Weekend here. I'm so excited about these here, by the way. Uh, Ringer Center is one of those companies that I really wanted to try. Like, and I only had a uh, night train to tear for a long time. And this sale just came up just before Father's Day. And uh, I didn't think I was going to be able to grab anything. And it was my last big, I knew this was going to be my last big grab for a while. So, uh, super stoked. They put out a package, Springer Syndrome does, where you can actually uh, get, subscribe, and get all their, like, Blu-rays each month for, like, uh, for, like, a so, like, this, every once in a while it goes on for half price. So, okay. I love the uh, different covers there. So, does that one have a cover, too? Yeah, let's check. So, this one here, Nightmare Weekend, has, like, different artwork, and as you can tell, <clears throat> yes, there actually is. An alternate art cover there. She kind of looks like Varish. So, just fun, cheesy stuff. As you can see, it just shows like the kind of fun, cheesy, like extra special care that Vinger Center puts into their releases. 
and they really do I mean they really put some awesome care and these are movies I'm gonna be looking at so we've seen like uh, editing cards we've seen like alternate artworks reversible covers um, just some amazing stuff so next up is one that I that I dig it some people find it kind of slow but uh the heck happened there I uh I guess it's not for, for everyone, but I kind of like this stuff. Freddy Main is in this list, actually. Oh. And uh, Freddy Main is, uh, is a famous actor who uh, did movies like, which, if you're a horror fan, you're probably familiar with him from Roman Polanski's The Fear of the Vampire Killers. Uh, I think I watched the review. And I, uh, I remember once, uh, I love this, I was critic. And I was watching uh, one of his reviews once about uh, the uh, Tim Burton, it's, uh, the you know the the headless horseman on the Sleepy Hollow movie. And he didn't know what ha and he re recently planned it with Hammer was, and I was like gobsmacked, for lack of a better word. So whenever I find out, so when you gotta know who uh, who Freddie Man is, he's a he's a big actor. Uh, so as you can see. Blu-ray and DVD, and, and it has done the exact same thing of giving a, an alternate artwork and some amazing alternate artwork. I just love this. So either way, the artwork is fantastic on this one. As you can see there, it's the, it's the artwork from there. And the, that's what they've done, taking the Blu-ray and DVD and they've taken uh, one, you know, they've taken the Blu-ray and put the new artwork and put taking the DVD and put it, the old artwork on there. Oh man, these things with slip covers would be fantastic because you have both. The newest release I grabbed from them was this one here, The Bees, uh, a movie that is probably most famous for the fact that uh, it gained a large portion of its money by being paid off by another B movie uh, to, uh, to to get like out of the theaters pretty fast. Uh, it is The Bees, so here we go. Got some features on this one. Oh, I forgot to tell you the features on Frightmare. So we got an all new 2K scan restoration from its original negative. A new video interview with cinematographer Joel King. Archival audio interview with director Norman Thetis Vane. Historical con commentary track with Dave Duvall and Dave Dakota. Cool. And there's another commentary track with the Hysteria Continues. Uh, we got uh, original tactical trailer and reverse cover art. The Bees is, is another one that scanned in a brand new 2K restoration from its original print. Uh, we have a video interview with the director, Alfredo Zacharias. Not the only time you're going to see his name, hear his name on this here. And uh, original tactical trailer. And uh, we got some reversal cover for this one as well, so let's check that out. <clears throat> we got a decent cast in uh, The Beast as well. We got like John Saxon, Angel Tompkins, uh, John Carradine, and Claudio Brooke. So uh, pretty cool people in there. So I haven't seen the alternate artwork for The Bees. I didn't know it had an alternate artwork. Uh, I just kind of dug this kind of like kind of really cheesy looking. Uh, Thing. The bees is pretty cheesy. I mean, uh, think of like pretty much superimposed, you know, bees superimposed into a scene, like kind of like a killer bee thing. But well, I kind of dig that stuff. So okay, so there's like two. Uh, we got a DVD and Blu-ray, and let's look at the alternate artwork here, which I think I'm gonna. I may actually change this over. It's kind of cool. This is pretty actually cool. That's pretty awesome. A gigantic bee and a bathing suited woman running from it. Because I'm sure when people saw this movie, they were like hoping that, you know, they were going to get it confused with Jaws or something like that. But uh, it's, it's cool. I love these exploitation films. <clears throat> Next up is one that I'm, not that I'm very excited about. And it is Demonoid. And. Demonoid is another film by Alfredo Zacharias, who did The Bees. Uh, so I have two films on him, actually. Again, another 2K restoration. What's really cool about this one is it actually has an alternate print of the film, uh, an international print called Ma Macabre. And there is actually a huge difference in the print. Uh, the Demonoid print runs 79 minutes long, and the Macabre print runs at, at 90 minutes. So, yeah, there's some really big... Uh, it's not, you know, there's a really big edits in that one. A multiple theatrical trailers, TV spots, reversible cover. Oh, okay. Original artwork gallery, 
Uh, we had an optional French soundtrack, which which Hen might like, because she actually speaks French. And, uh, of course, subtitles. So, got to have those subtitles in there. And people, like, you know, don't, you know, kind of say, you know, subtitles aren't a big deal or to have them on there's a special feature. But a lot of people suffer from hearing loss. Uh, so subtitles can actually be, like, uh, really important to somebody that wants to watch some of these films. So I never took, you know, pretty much notice of it early on. But I have a friend that actually uh, uh, is, uh, is deaf, and that's how she watches films. So if the movie doesn't come to subtitle track, she actually can't watch it. So it makes a huge difference for her. Demon, I'm so excited about these movies. There's, I know they're like, super cheesy, but this is this is my uh, this is my stuff, guys. This is what I like because these are the type you can watch over and over again. They're just the fun stuff, uh, just the ultra cheesy, ultra fun. And I don't see enough people online talking about this company here, Vinegar Syndrome, which is too bad because the they are known for putting a lot of work and a lot of effort into the releases. And as you can see, some fantastic, fantastic artwork here. Uh, just some amazing stuff. Uh, I think this is another one of these, like, uh, is this the killer? Which one? Kind of 80s. Oh. Soundtrack's supposed to be great on this, too. First thing I'm going to check out. So, oh, I love this art. So we have Demon Knight on one side and Macabre on the other. So we got both of them. And I think this was going to be the art from Macabre. I've never seen this before. Beautiful, beautiful artwork. So, yeah, that is gorgeous. Did I? So, uh, just some amazing art on these things. Wow. And like I mentioned, there's some great extras. Uh, really looking forward to checking this one out. Gives that a kind of like... A, and another thing that I should mention here is that all of Vinegar Syndrome's releases so far as I know, and I know that every one of these are, are all region free. So they're not just Blu-rays that you can get here in North America. If you're in the UK or Ireland <laughs> or something like that, and and you want to like play these, these are A, B, and C. So you can get them any, you can get them in, and watch them on any Blu-ray player, no matter where you live. <coughs> okay, this one here was out of print, and they managed to like rustle up a few copies that were left over. Uh, so kind of excited about this. My dad has this one as well. And it is actually Crypt of the Living Dead. It actually has a whole n another movie on it, House of the Living Dead. And uh, my better half loves these like kind of like Mexican like horror films. When we first met, uh, she said she wanted like she liked the, the horror films that had kind of like the the Mexican wrestlers and all this type of stuff in it, just the cheesy stuff. So not being able to find that stuff, I remember where I was at, and uh, I just wanted to, you know when we're hanging out at the time. Um, I went and I picked up Wrestlemania, which is not the same thing. Uh, it is definitely not El Santo. Uh, well, we'll just go with that one. So, she stayed my friend and made her on much more, even though one of the first movies I ever showed her was Wrestlemania, followed by High Tension. <laughs> so, again, the uh, House of the Living Dead is really the only other feature on the on this one here but it is you know we got like a, a brand new restoration of Crypt of the Living Dead we got a full extra film on here as well so you know you can't go wrong with that uh, just some great stuff here we got a theatrical tra tra trailer and alternate title uh, and the House of the Living Dead is the, the, mo the basically the big feature so we have them both in Blu-ray and DVD so no alternate cover out there on that one but this was one of the earlier ones before they started doing a lot of that so and as they like to they put here, they have like a uh, streaming service that I actually got for a little bit because uh, I don't have it right now and I will thinking about getting it again down the road, but I do support them by buying their titles and I will continue to do so. Uh, they use their streaming service to help pay for the restoration of uh, some of these titles here. So that's, uh, it's really, you know, it's cool the way that they do that. And uh, i got to give them props. So if you haven't checked out Exploitation.TV, it's not for everybody. It's uh, got a lot of like adult 
type content. And I do mean adult type content. There are some X-rated stuff on there. So if you have younger kids or that's something that you're not into, I, you know, that's not something for you to check out. And I don't want to like steer you towards something that's going to get you upset. But uh, if that's, you know, if you don't mind some of the teacher stuff, you don't mind some of the more X-rated stuff, uh, you know, that's not all there is, but that is there amongst them. <clears throat> if you do get it, just make sure that you, you know, monitor which aspects of that you can actually show your younger children or if they're going to be a house loan, you know. <clears throat> but again, how, Crypt of the Living Dead, House of the Living Dead, this was a limited edition. I think they made like, I'm not sure how many they made of these here, but uh, I know this one is a limited one as well. Uh, very, very, very excited to have this one here. <clears throat> and again, like I mentioned before, you know, A, B, and C, just uh, region free. All these here are region free. So I'm going to go through them one more time. I got Crypt of the Living Dead, House of the Living Dead, uh, kind of a Mexican horror double feature. I have a Fredo Zarakis's, hope I got his name right there, Demonoid, and Macabre, the other uh, uh, version of the film. And, you know, it's two very different versions a 79 minute film and a 90 minute film. So, yeah, there's some big differences in that. Alternate art on that one. I got The Bees, also by Alfredo Zacharias, uh, also with alternate artwork. That's just pretty awesome. Uh, just very cool. Again, these are all restore, restored basically with 2K scans. There's some amazing scans on these here. Also grab the uh, extremely cheesy uh, Frightmare with Ferdy Main. Uh, not for everyone, obviously, but not, none of these films are for everyone. But uh, these are my style films. I do like this right there. I love the artwork on these. Just amazing, amazing art on these covers here. And just kind of unique, really cool artwork on it's like stuff like Massage Parlor Murders. Uh, it's very different. There's one of their earlier uh, Blu-rays that they did, and obviously there's not a lot of uh, features on this one here, as it would be on some of their later stuff. But again, you know, it's a region-free Blu-ray and DVD uh, of a movie that, one, a lot of people didn't hear of, and two, not a lot of people really uh, really cared to look into. And it's just a shame, because you really should look into some of this stuff. Uh, Vinegar Syndrome just did some amazing stuff. Also got today... Nightmare Weekend. I cannot wait to look at this one. This is probably going to be the one that I watch with uh, my son. It's just a really batshit crazy film. Uh, we got like we got a uh, computer sciences, demons, just a bunch of it's a crap load of crazy stuff. And I grabbed the limited edition, only fifteen hundred of these. So I do recommend that to you if you're into this type here, definitely pick it up. The Cutthroats. So just really cool stuff. And I ordered stuff from Arrow ages ago. I'm still waiting for it to come. I got this. I also got, thanks to my friend Jason, both Dead Space movies on uh, on DVD from, uh, with slips from uh, from Anchor Bay. So a lot of really cool stuff today. I have the Dead Space films. I have the seven... Vinegar Syndrome. So, happy Father's Day to me. This is an early Father's Day present. Uh, my kids are coming over the weekend. I plan on watching some of this cheesy stuff. Uh, with my daughter up, probably the bees. Uh, because, you know, it's, it's less kind of like... Uh, with my son, Nightmare Weekend. Depends on how much I want to make. Cast suffer. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. For me right now, you know what time it is. It's that time again. It is time for tea. So excited. Hey there. If you're stuck around after the ending, thanks a lot again because uh, I'm going to do that. So, movies aren't the only things that I collect. I also collect other things as well. So, I've been following, I'm, I'm a big comic fan, and I've been following DC Comics recently. Uh, since the whole Reaper thing started. Uh, it started out with this here, uh, issue one. It was an 80-pager for two ninety nine. Actually, a really great comic. i got to say, I really enjoyed the uh, first uh, Rebirth. Then came up with Rebirth Superman issue one. Uh, I like that because it brought back the Superman that I like. If you're a horror fan, then Green Arrow 
Rebirth issue one has kind of a horror aspect to it that I really liked. Um, I've been a really big fan of uh, Green Lantern, so I like that as well. And here's the alternate uh, cover for the uh, you know the for Batman issue one Rebirth. <clears throat> Today I also went out and I grabbed up Detective Comics issue nine thirty four. Love that. And as you can see, they got it sound like almost like a team comic now. We have Action Comics, issue 957. It's gone back to its original pre-Flashpoint uh, numbering. And we have Aquaman Rebirth, number one. Now, there was two comics that I couldn't get. They were all sold out in my store because I don't get off work till like 6.30. But luckily, I went to my other comic shop. We still had a couple copies left. I managed to get Wonder Woman Rebirth, issue one. And, of course, the ever-important, really cool Flash Rebirth. So that's all the Rebirths that have came out. Um, I'm thinking about doing like some comic book reviews as well, talking about this stuff here. I know it's not going to garner me as many views as like uh, the stuff like the the movies and the collection updates that I talked about, but for now, I just left it as a little extra bonus on the end of my uh, video, just in case you chose to watch. Thanks for watching, guys, and you know right now what time it is. Well, I want to read my comics, but first I got to get some tea. So it's uh, it's time for tea.